My name is Tracy Mussolini. I am a small business owner. I am an artisan baker and a pizzaiola, <laughs> which means I make pizza <laughs> the Italian way. Well, for this type of pizza, this is very specific. Verace Pizza in Napolitana is wood-fired, hot, fast pizza. I am a co-owner with my brother Blair. I am a problem solver, <laughs> art baker, um, leader, if I can say that. If that doesn't sound obnoxious. <laughs> well, we're here today here to share some information about my bakery and my life. Outside of baking, what I love to do is dance primarily. I like working with my hands and keeping myself going because I have a very high energy. My dad came from Italy when he was 16 years old. His brother ended up in Edmonton and was working as a baker. And then my dad followed when he was 16. The only trade he had was baking, because he worked in, in his small village in Italy as a baker, and then, or as a baker helper, and delivering bread on his bicycle and everything. And then my parents got married. My dad was working as a baker in another bakery in Saskatoon. An opportunity came to buy the bakery. They didn't have enough money to buy it, so they went to my uncle Paul, who, my uncle Polly, who was a farmer, and he sold a quarter of land, and he gave, the, he loaned that to my parents, and they bought the, the bakery in 1966. But they worked really hard, really hard. There's times when I was a kid, and I remember my older brother Russ and I were sleeping in sleeping bags on the floor in the front of the bakery because my mom had to help my dad. But those are some really early, early memories. What we have is a family-run, owned and operated business, and it's been like that since 1966. And it's kind of similar for Blair and I, who are now second-generation small business owners, is because I'm actually the, the baker and the, produ the production person, and my brother Blair is He's, a, he's got the head for the finance. And, well, he also fixes all the equipment. He, we, 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 when you're in a small business, you kind of like jack of all trades. So, but primarily I focus on the bread baking and organizing and scheduling and getting that rolling, like production managing and Blair is keeping the business running. The most unique thing is it's a family business and that it has been around for almost 90 years. The methods, the consistency. Um, I think the other thing is like, is we're a family business, but we, we treat our staff like family too, because we're, we're in it together and we work together. And I think those are the things that make our business unique. could be anything from waking up at 2 in the morning, getting to the bakery and mixing and shaping and baking or whatever is involved in the production process, laminating. It could be uh, problem solving. That's what I get a lot of that every day, problem solving. Uh, the kind of products that we do here at Christie's are handcrafted, artisanal, foods made with basic ingredients, no chemicals, real tasty, real food. It takes a lot to keep our products consistent, but we do whatever it takes because we care about what we do. So that's an interesting concept, isn't it? The new normal. Adapt, persevere, overcome. Those are the things I keep in my mind that keep me going. Um, it's all part of the same flow. It's all part of like the, 
adapting to the situation that you have to deal with that you're the environment or the situation that you're in and trying to figure it out and the best way you can and try to go forward. It's, t it's tough to stay positive, especially during this COVID because there's so it's shining a light on like a lot of mental health issues and like that's increasing because we're all stressed and we're, we don't get human interaction. We don't get contact with people and finances and not knowing what the future holds. I think when this is all over, people are really going to want to get together again when we're safe, when it's safe to do so. And, I, and it, it might be some time, but I want to be there when that happens. Like I want to be here, like in my community, having people, Christie's Il Secondo, and having people gather safely. Like that was going to be, like when I see this place full of people again, like my family and friends without masks and like not feeling like, like able to, like being able to like, touch each other again and when that feels comfortable like you will see tears flowing from my eyes because I'll be so happy you know I don't want like this beautiful place that has shared so many beautiful memories and parties and stuff I want that again you know but you know you have to take a risk you got to take a risk. You got to take a gamble. That's what we do. Like I'm gam like we're gambling on some things that we think are going to pay off because that you still have to pay your bill, but I see I, I think I see that for the future and I, if I focus my energy, maybe that will happen. Like if you don't have hope, what have you got? And you and the other thing, the other thing I would say like what I like to do is surround myself with people that are aligned with a certain energy, you know, that have hope and like can see like the next step and do have hope and faith in that, 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 that's something that we can like switch it around. Hopefully we'll, we'll really, really appreciate being able to do things again. I think they do. I think they do. I think they feel finally a light at the end of the tunnel. It's, a, it's somewhere and that We'll be like, remember, remember in 2020? Remember then? Remember that? Look at your mask collection. Remember that? We wore those. We survived. Well, we're still surviving it, let's just say, the pandemic, because it's, it's ongoing. But we're just by doing the same things that we do, we, we get a problem and then we solve it. And whatever the problem is, we find a solution or we try to find a way to, to get through it. And that takes. That took our, our entire family. My mom, my brother Russ, Gabe, Blair, me, my husband, and the staff that we had, the core staff that stayed with us through the whole scary times. Um, that's how we got through it. That's how we're getting through it, with, with people. <laughs> with people and perseverance, basically. That's how we're, that's how we're, we're getting through it. With people that care. It's affected me in multiple ways. It's, it's been stressful, it's been scary, but it's also been strength building. It's also made me look at things in a different perspective. But what I would say to other small business owners is just keep doing what, we're always, what we always do. Adapt, persevere, overcome, Stay strong, find a way to pivot, find a way to just make it happen and don't be hard on yourself for something that you can't even control. That all this crazy stuff that's happened to you, you, sh you can't take that personally. It's just, it's crazy time. Just day by day, stay strong and, and, and try to get through it. And if you have to reach out to other fellow business people and see what they're doing, like I've, I've, I've reached out to several of my peers who own small businesses and we've had conversations and it just makes you feel like you're not alone out there. We're all struggling, we're all trying to figure it out and there's like a kinship and a comradeship through our struggle. <laughs>